fucking Windows 98! Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to my tutorial on macros. Well, first off, let me explain what a macro is. A macro is creating a script and linking it to a hotkey for an easier use of your skills. In fact, if you want to look at it this way, all of your skills are single command macros. Allow me to explain. Alright, let's give an example here. Um, let's go find something we can kill. Alright. I'm going to press my hotkey for my flame skill. Alright. I'm sorry for the laggy frame rate, but basically by pressing that, I ran a script. Now to better show what script I run, I'm going to target one, open up chat, slash cast flame. Basically, that's what the game does every time you want to use a skill. Alright, so typing in the um, cast and then slash cast and then the skill name is the same as pressing the button itself. Now, um, let's go ahead and jump into how to make a macro. Well, first off, to create a macro, you're going to want to go into let's press escape, then go to macros and then it'll bring you to a menu like this. What you do is you click one of um, a blank square and hit new. And then right here you can select oh, what the symbol you want to use and you can name it whatever. Alright, now let's see. But uh, macros are going to be broken down into the two categories for this tutorial and those are going to be single command macros and multi command macros and we'll get right we will get right on that all right now here's a good example of a single command macro let's just name this well we'll use flame for example flame we'll call it a new flame and what we're going to do is we're going to type in slash cast flame I'm going to go ahead and hit save we're going to drag this to my hotkeys I don't have a hockey flip. When I target a monster and press that, it will cast flame. And that's pretty much how that's going to work. And you can go back and you can modify it. Let's see if you want to do any mode. I would type in slash wave. Target the wolf cub and let's just see. A wave. Yay! That's pretty much a single command and macro. Um, later in the video I will show what you type to cast spells or skills, use items, or say things. We'll be getting into that in just a moment. But that's basically the first part of your single command macros. Alright, now we're going to learn how we make a macro to say things in chat for us. This is very commonly used. Um, guilds commonly use this to advertise their recruitment status. So, um, and then I personally use it myself to announce when Siege is start, as, as uh, starting, you've probably seen that used quite a bit, but let's just get right down to it. Let's go ahead and call it Greetings, and then what you're going to do is you're going to type in a slash, and then depending on what you're going to um, say it in, slash G for Guild, P for Party, um... Slash Y for world, slash Z for zone, slash S for say, or if you have your own channel, well, I'll go ahead and do slash one for my one of my own channels that I have. So pretty much, what you're going to do is type whatever you want, and it will be displayed. in the chat after you hotkey for this macro. Alright, so let's go ahead and hit save. Let's go ahead and drag it in here. And now when I press it, right there, it automatically posts it in my exclusive alliance chat. Now you would type in slash G for guild, which I use for my um, siege war, I'll show it. 
like this is you can type in slash g or slash guild it doesn't matter which way you do it as long as it knows and that's my five minute warning and then that's the greeting we just did well what we can do is we can go back and we can modify it make it slash s and now when we click it it'll say it in slash say so that's pretty much how you make a macro that will say things for you a lot of people actually do this i mean i'm gonna i'm not gonna lie here they have a um a rogue combo where as you're killing someone you're singing barbie girl which is it's a pretty funny macro this it's somewhere on the ROM forms you may want to go look for it if you're looking for a good laugh but that's pretty much it for our single command macros and we'll we'll start off with multi command all right now we have a small change of scenery going on here we're gonna be showing how you create a multi command macro which is probably what most of you are wanting to know how to do because you want to be able to combo your moves. Alright, well let's go ahead and teach us how to do that. We'll teach you all how to do that. Let's see. Let's go into our macros. I, I unequipped my staff because I wanted, um... I don't want to overkill enemies because I'm going to end up shooting them for like 75k here, so... Yeah, I'm not going to do that. So let's just pick a cool looking thing. And let's just call it a combo. Now, when running a combination macro or a multi command macro, the first thing you're going to want to type is always slash script. It's going to be the first thing you want to type. Then underneath it, you're going to want to type in your first combo. So for me, that would be slash cast flame. Okay, note that it is going to be case sensitive. So after I have cast flame set, I'm going to um, type in slash weight. I'm going to type in four. Now before I, let me explain what I mean by that. Notice, see when I use a skill, all of my skills go on a, like a less than one second cooldown. That cooldown is always less than one second. A lot of people, when they're using um, a um, skill combination, they always type in .75, but that's because they're using instant skills. Flame is a three second cast, and I'll, so if Flame was an instant cast, I would say wait one and then go to my next skill. Like if I were to say cast cast fireball, fireball is an insta cast, so after one second I'll be able to use another skill again. Now see the reason I do one second rather than the .75 or .80 which some people use is because I lag a little bit and that will always throw me off. But let's go ahead and get it started. Flame is a three second cast plus the one second wait in between skills, that's four seconds and then we'll follow up with fireball which is an instant cast so we'll follow, we'll say wait one after it then we'll say slash cast lightning lightning is also an instant so it's wait one then we will type cast electric bolt Electric Bolt is a one second cast plus the one weight, so that's going to be a two second. Then we're going to have cast Cursed Fangs, weight one, cast Cursed Fangs, weight one, cast Fireball. Wait one slash cast flame, and that will pretty much be my entire macro right there. So, what this macro is going to do is it's going to 
It's going to start off by casting a flame, following up with a fireball, rooting them with lightning, then casting an electric bolt, hitting them twice with cursed fangs, casting a fireball, and then finishing with a flame. That's pretty much what this macro is going to do. So let's give this macro a test. Let's go ahead and target you. When you're using a macro, make sure at least all the skills that you're going to use in the macro are at least in range. So let's give this a shot. It's fireball, flame, lightning, electric bolt, there goes one curse fang. Okay, the second curse fang didn't fire. Probably a little bit due to my lag. To, well, probably because I'm also running fraps. So a little due to my lag, I'm probably not getting that curse fang out. So if I say in between curse fangs, wait, 1.5, one and a half seconds in between. And I can probably keep this going. Cast. Yeah, I can probably just keep chaining this macro until I run out of space. Wait two. Yeah. This macro is I even extended even further. Now it is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is a ten command macro. So let's give this sucker a good test. There goes flame, fireball, lightning, electric bolt, one curse fang, two curse fang, fireball, here comes the next flame, here comes another electric bolt, and when I got pushed back that interrupted the fireball, but the fireball would have fired. So pretty much that's how you would make a multi-command macro. Pretty much make sure that you're always typing at least weight 0.75 to weight 1 in between your skills. And also be sure that if it's a skill that has a cast time, take that cast time into effect and add the plus and add the uh, 0.75 or 0.1 or the uh, 1 to it. So if it's a 3 second cast, make it weight 4. If it's a 5 second cast, make it weight 6. I was just going to show off another one of my little macros that I made. Let's um, see if this will work. This is my swift combo macro that I made. It's a good PvP macro. Let's just say... I'll be posting this one on things. It's a discharge... It's a shadow step, a discharge, fireball. See, I'm using the point eighty and everything. But I highly doubt it's going to work right now because of the fact... Well, the macro, it, it, all of them fire, but it's just, since I'm lacking my staff here, it's pretty much hurting me, my chances of winning here. Now you can go ahead and die. And it's also useful, instead of having all these buffs clutter your area, just make a macro that will fully buff you. Some things you also want to take into uh, account when making a macro besides the cast time if there's any kind of animation wait that you have to wait for like some macros like some skills like see my intensification didn't fire up on this one because well, let's see what's before it on there because fire ward has a little animate has a little extended animation so you want to always take those into account now I was just gonna let you all know also so we know how to do a command, how to, how to use a skill, it's always slash cast, space, then type the skill, it is case sensitive, but let's show you how to use an item. Pretty much all you're going to do is type in slash use, and then type in the, na the name of the item you're using. 
as simple as that and I'm gonna get this thing off me let's get that staff equipped and then let's one shot this bastard okay so that is pretty much macros in a nutshell I mean if you have any other questions feel free to ask me in game um, well feel free to ask me in game if you're on the running server and have any other questions or if you're in my, if or if you're in moonlight altogether since that's what this video is primarily made for but yeah just if you can come out make mix and match your own combos I mean it's it's a pretty useful thing to have so that's pretty much it and I hope this video was helpful